Hey everybody, Dave here. Today I'm doing more C-sharp practice, and last time I did prime factors. That involved some integral numbers in like while loops or something. Today I'll be doing Armstrong numbers, which is marked as easy. So I'm going to go in here and look at the instructions. It says, an Armstrong number is a number that is the sum of its own digits, each raised to the power of the number of digits. For example, 9 is an Armstrong number because 9 raised to the power of 1 is just 9, so it equals itself. 10 is not an Armstrong number because uh, 1 does not equal 1 to the power of 2 plus 0 to the power of 2. 1 to the power of 2 is just 1 times 1, so it equals 1, so it doesn't equal itself. 153 is an Armstrong number because 153 equals 1 to the power of 3, 5 to the power of 3, 3 to the power of 3, and 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, and then you add those together and you get 153. Okay, cool. So we just need to write some code to determine whether a number is an Armstrong number or not. All right, so this looks like what I'd expect. We got is Armstrong number is the name of the method. The input is an integer called number, and then we just need to output a Boolean. All right, so let's make some numbers here. We got integers, so let's do int total equals zero to begin with. And we're going to first get that number, turn it to a string. So let's do like a string num, let's do string like this so that I know that that's a string equals number dot to string and then I'm going to loop over each of the numbers for each char num in num string and then I need to convert each of these as I do the math so let's do like int I'm going to add the word char to the end of this int num int equals I think I want Okay, I always mess this up. We're going to do it right this time. I'm going to cast to an int. I'm curious to see if this works. But then inside of parentheses here, I'm going to do num char dot to string. And just to mention, in case you didn't see the other videos, what I what I run into is if I just do like casting to an int from a character, and if there's a number in that character, it will just cast to its its ASCII representation. So like I think. Uh, one will go to 49, zero will go to 48. It just, it's, it's, it's just straight up wrong. So what I'm doing is casting to a string first or converting to a string and then casting to an integer from that string and then storing it here in this integer and hopefully that we get the right result at that point. We raise them all the same power. So I'll just go like int power equals number, wait, num string dot length like this. So however long the number is, so if it's like five digits long or something, it goes into the string, we get the length of the string, we put that into power, that's how much we raise each number to. So in this case, we'll go total plus equals num int to the power, right? I need to do math.pow, so that's in, if I remember right, that's in something numerics, like system.numerics, if I'm wrong, I'll fix it later. So we need to do total plus equals math.pow. Hmm. I actually don't remember how this goes. It, I'm sure it's like the number and then the power, but I need to look that up real quick. First double input is to be raised. It's the number that's to be raised. And then the second one is the, it's the power. So I have that in the correct order. The other thing I just written, remembered is that it's going to return a double, so we want to go ahead and cast that to an integer. So I think that this math.pow part will run first, then it will cast it to an integer and go into, it will add total to it, total will add to itself this amount. And then once we have looped over all of the characters and we are raising them to the power, adding them to the total, then we check to see, actually we can just return, is total equal to number? And if, if this number is not equal to this number, then it is not an Armstrong number. Now, 
as usual, I'm going to look over this for a minute, but what I said in the last video is I'm going to try to improve and think about the namespace in imports and also my validations. So do I need to have a validation here? Now, what I wonder is if this applies for negative numbers, and I don't see anything in the instructions that say you can't have a negative number, so it's possible it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and test it. How did I miss that? I missed a semicolon. All right. Okay. Look. Wait. Cannot convert type string to int. Is that in line 13? Okay. This is actually, um, I think this is important. I didn't, I did not know that you can't cast like this. And I'm glad I tested this because I thought that the way I was converting before was unnecessary, but it looks like you really do need to do convert dot to int 32 like this. Okay, so that looks like I do actually need to do that. That's good to know. And we succeeded. So I did miss a semicolon and that's unfortunate. But things happen. And I also, what I didn't know about this, which to be fair, I, I think I won't mess up on this again. I've been going back and forth trying to use this kind of implicit conversion. This is not too bad of a mistake to make, I think. I need to submit. Let's go down and make sure that we used the right concepts. Casting. I mean, we obviously casted. I just casted wrong. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.